Being a software engineer at a time where getting a tech job is harder than teaching your mom how to flip the camera on FaceTime makes you feel like my job is not promised. Layoffs are going crazier than NPCs on TikTok and in a moment's notice, I may get that HR call saying, hey Ritesh, we regret to inform you that you're fired. Not because of your overqualified degree, internships, and amazing experience, but because we suck at employee management. Because of all this, I decided in early 2024 to use my coding skills for more than just a nine to five job. I started eight unique side hustles that you can literally copy for yourself. In this video, I'm going to show you my eight side hustles as a software engineer that earn me over $15,000 a month and how you can start them today. My first side hustle is investments. Now we all do this, every YouTuber talks about it, so I will share with you mine. I earned about $700 a month in interest thanks to my Marcus account, which is a high yield savings account. This is a great way to store cash that you are not using for any other you know, big investments like real estate. And like any degenerate, I periodically also trade crypto and stocks, but it's not consistent enough for me to say, I make income monthly off of it. In fact, I lost $3,000 in stocks in the past month, but then made $4,000 in crypto. So it's like, you know, call me Warren Buffet. Now I am looking to get into real estate and purchase my first rental property. So if you all have any tips, please let me know. My next side hustle is my two SaaSes that I launched this past year. My first one is an Instagram outreach software that is built for companies looking to perform mass Instagram outreach campaigns for their business. This was launched in March, 2024, and it has been growing pretty steadily. We partnered with a pretty famous influencer in this space. So that definitely helped revenue a lot. I currently bring in about $900 a month in profit from this. And this is after all expenses and paying out, you know, for the others occurs. I'm also excited to talk about my second SaaS, Pin Drop Stories that I launched two weeks ago. It's a SaaS that allows website owners to add a strip of Instagram-like stories to their website, which helps convert website traffic. Tra traffic. Now, to be fully transparent, I have made zero dollars in profit from this. In fact, I'm actually negative 4.5 grand. Yeah, I'm going broke. Help me. Just kidding, all income is actually being currently reinvested into the SaaS and the side hustles later in this video will literally blow your socks off and make up for any loss. Now this side hustle I'm very excited about because I actually feel like Warren Buffet and like a, a venture capitalist. You see, this past year, I've been actively trying to be a part of multiple tech projects, whether it be AI companies, productivity apps, or stock trading groups. I usually try to negotiate some sort of equity agreement between myself and the company in exchange for my efforts in product growth, marketing, and technical experience, as well as some leadership. Exactly. An example of one of the startups that I'm on the board of and I hold shares in is MyVega. At MyVega, we automate the entire learning journey for educators, students. We have AI avatars for the teachers and basically make teaching cool. I currently earn zero dollars a month from this as well, since I choose to only have equity, no monthly pay. By doing this thing where you take no like upfront payment, just equity, you're able to negotiate more equity because it shows that you really believe in the startup. And I honestly really believe in my Vega. And it's basically making it so you're in the future, if this company were to sell itself or go public, you're gonna have insane returns. Now, before you get on my butt about, dude, you're doing work for free, I just want to say that my Vega has nearly crossed a million dollars in revenue in 2024. So just know we're cooking. When that exit happens, I won't be looking like the NVIDIA CEO. At this point in the video, we have talked about side hustles that have been paying an okay amount per month, like now nothing crazy. But now we're going to move on to the big boy, big stacks, get rich side hustles. So let's start off with YouTube ads. Okay, maybe I lied. This is actually gonna be short because I generally do not make any income off YouTube ads. I don't know why. My CPM is low and shit just not working out. I don't know, man. I make about $200 a month off YouTube ads. Okay, so now we get to the big dogs. Starting off with sponsorships. Thanks to my quality content that for some reason doesn't get enough views, transparency, and I'd like to think maybe good looks, sponsors reach out to me, ask me to create shorts, Instagram reels, and videos for them on my channel as well as theirs. Now, I cannot reveal the payment amount that individual sponsorships have given me, but just know that I've been paid or $700 sometimes just to create a YouTube shorts or a reel. 30 seconds of yapping for 700 bucks. That's pretty crazy. Like now we know why everyone's trying to become a content creator with their iPhone. Don't laugh at that. That's actually how most of y'all look doing that. Did I lose aura for that? Cause I made a very silly face. I don't know. That was kind of fruity. On average, I earn about 1500 to 2K a month from sponsorships. This is also considering the fact that I don't even reply to 50% of sponsorship requests simply because I'm kind of lazy. If the offer is right, I'll respond ASAP, but it's a lot of work sometimes creating content for sponsors. The next side hustle is software contracting. I run my own software development team called Slight, where we develop automation agents, websites, and apps for anyone and everyone. We have built AI powered QR generators 
generators, stock trading web apps, Discord bots, and so many landing pages, so many landing pages. We can get paid $20,000 for building a web app, but only 700 bucks for a landing page. So there's a big range when it comes to the income made per contract. These past months have been kind of slow in terms of software contracting projects that don't fall under the next side hustle categories that I'm going to talk about. So on average, not including the next side hustles, I've been taking home about $1,000 a month from software contracting. Again, not including the projects that fall under the side hustle categories that I'm about to talk about. For anyone who wants to freelance and build software products for clients, I highly recommend learning Next.js, React, Node.js, and HTML CSS, and Python, as these languages and frameworks will allow you to create the very best apps possible for all devices. Now, I know, I, I listed a shit ton of different languages, but I have the best place to learn them all, Scrimba. If you use the link in the description, you'll be directed to Scrimba, a literal epicenter of a bunch of coding courses for the very top languages. I personally want you to head over to the JavaScript and HTML tabs to view the many courses on these languages. Courses range from beginner skill level to advanced, so no matter where you are in coding journey, you can find a course that suits your skill level. Scrimble also does fun little challenge events like JavaScriptmas where you can use your learned JavaScript skills from the courses to do challenge problems for the entire month. It's pretty sick, it's a great way to work on your craft. So check out Scrimba using the link in the description below. Now we enter bot development. This is Slide's main shtick, right? This is what we're best at, coding automation apps. This can be shift scheduling agents, AIQR generators, chat bots, Zapier workflows, stock trading bots, checkout bots, and more. <sighs> Man, I'm taking a lot of breaths here. On this channel, I have made it pretty apparent that I code agents on the regular and doing so has changed my financial life heavily. While this started with just myself and a friend from high school, we have now expanded our team of devs into what I call Slide Team 13. And all the software contracting projects that fall under automation, I consider bot dev, which is why I didn't consider this pay as a part of the pay of the last category. Now, let me touch on the name Slide Team 13. I know, it's like SEAL Team 6, but I wanted to put a cool twist on it. Slide Team 13, wow! Basically, people that I personally know that are great developers or my mentees that have graduated my mentorship program, I bring on as contractors of Slight and we work together to build some pretty cool this AIQR generator bot that I have mentioned about three times, we built and sold for $3,000 plus to a Saudi Arabian airport. This shift scheduling agent earns me about $9,000 a month in revenue in peak seasons. This script right here that buys limited competition rifles earns $2,000 a month in revenue on average. The many things we have built for a variety of industries makes this my favorite side hustle. And as of right now, I earn about $7,000 a month in profit from this side hustle. Ah oh, man, this next side hustle, I already know. The allegations that are gonna be firing me for this, just know I practice what I preach, unlike the others. As I mentioned prior, I have mentees, meaning I run a mentorship where I mentor other developers how to code bots and turn that skill into a one-person business. In the mentorship, I even guarantee each mentee a paying client that will give them paid work to do. No mentorship does this. You're guaranteed to make money, so no, it's not a scam. Suck that, haters. In fact, one of my mentees who came into the mentorship as an Instacart driver left the mentorship as a full-time software engineer thanks to his work in building a data-centering agent for a construction company. And he used Puppeteer.js for that, which we cover heavy in the mentorship. And this success story is the very reason I even started this mentorship. See, it's a great way to help talented programmers who are fucked by the trash job market earn some money and allows me to find and train top talent to eventually work as a part of Slight Team 13. So it's a win-win for everyone. Fortunately, a lot of my viewers trust me and the mentorship has been wildly successful, earning me on average $9,000 a month. Now for the pocket watches out there, yes, my side hustles earn me as much as, if not more than a Google software engineer. It's crazy, I know. But what's crazier is you all can start each of these side hustles yourself literally today. Okay, maybe not the mentorship, but the rest you can. If you made it this far, please leave a like and subscribe.